This is the second part of, the, uh, of our video dedicated to the steam turbine. We will try to see in schemas and pictures the different elements that compose a steam turbine. Remember that this steam turbine that we are talking about are heavy duty steam turbine means a very big steam turbine uh, to generate electricity. Seeing this schema, and this is interesting schema, the main element in a schematic way. In this turbine, we recognize here the uh, all this element is the rotor. The rotor here, all this is the rotor composed by the shaft and the uh, blades. And this is the casing. Over here, uh, we see the casing. It uh, goes from the right to the left. Uh, we recognize here the coupling between the turbine and normally the generator. And here, we can see there the, uh, this motor is uh, the motor for the turning gear system. Remember that in the previous video, uh, that the turning gear uh, avoid the, the bend of the um, of the rotor when the turbine stop and the turbine is uh, hot. Uh, see that the turning gear is coupled in a disc uh, here, in the uh, connected in the collar, and all this part, all this element, is the thrust bearing is the bearing that try to avoid the um, uh, the movement of the shaft in the uh, axial uh, axis. Then here we have the collar, and there here uh, we have this one, and this one is uh, the the bearings. See that we have two color. This is one color, and this is the other color. And this is the, the put a top for the movement of the bearing. There are installed the bearings, and here are the collars. There, in this part, are located the uh, the journal bearing. And here the, the bearing is supported. Um, we can see that we have here one um, journal bearing and the other journal bearing is located in, in the other extreme here. One and two. Next here is the labyrinth seal. In the labyrinth seal, uh, remember that we will dedicate one video to the labyrinth seal because probably is one of the part uh, that is uh, complicated to understand how works the labyrinth seal. But uh, uh, in one video, we will explain especially this uh, the uh, how works uh, the, this uh, this system. Uh, remember that the labyrinth seal avoid the leakage of the uh, steam. Uh, from the inner part of the turbine to the uh, ambient. There we can see the blades and the blades are connected with the shaft and there connected with the casing are the veins. Blade and veins. And uh, there we are the, the different stage and there, the last stage. Finally, we have here another package of the uh, labyrinth seal. Here, and another labyrinth seal to avoid leakage to the outlet. And this is the outlet. In the outlet, we have different instruments to detect problems in the, uh, in the shaft. For example, we have here the uh, uh, proximity sensor to detect the movement of 
the shaft in the axial direction. We have another sensor to measure the eccentricity uh, of the uh, shaft, uh, to measure if the shaft is bent or not. There we can see the different support uh, of the casing. See that this support is fixed. This is a, point, a fixed point. And remember that when the turbine is uh, cold, has a size. But when the turbine is hot, has another size is bigger. And the expansion of the casing is made from this direction to this direction, to the outlet. Uh, for that reason, this uh, support is flexible and this one is fixed. The rotor is composed by different uh, parts. Remember that we have here the shaft and connected with the shaft are the blades. And there, uh, here, we have the collar. Uh, some turbine has here a pump, uh, is the, the lubricating pump. Here we can see one rotor uh, out of the turbine. See that, for example, in this rotor, uh, here, this, all this is the shaft, and this is the blades. See that this is an intermediate turbine, the pressure here is around 25, more or less, and uh, here, this is the low pressure turbine, it's two turbines connected. Intermediate turbine, low pressure turbine, and uh, here we can see another inlet of uh, in this space. We uh, receive another inlet of steam. Uh, see these orifices. This one, this orifice is to install uh, a special weight to balance the the rotor. Uh, we don't see that, but in this part, in the outlet, we have another orifice, like this one, to balance uh, the, the turbine. See, especially this, uh, the last row, see that in, in the last row, the cover, the coat of this last row is special, is uh, to avoid the erosion, because in this part, normally, we have some drops of water. It's a special coat of one uh, stainless steel, call it uh, steelite. And here we can see uh, another shaft, and in this shaft we recognize different elements. For example, we recognize very well here the collar, and this collar is a part of the, um, of the axial bearing or truss bearing. Here in this part is the journal bearing. One, the, the space for the journal bearing is one of them is this one, and the other one is this one. Uh, here in this part we have the lavening seal to avoid the leakage of steam. Uh, probably here uh, it is possible to see some elements uh, very well. For example, this is the collar, and in this collar we have here one bearing to avoid the movement of the uh, shaft. See, for example, these orifices. These orifices are to install this special weight to balance uh, the turbine, to balance the rotor. And these, this element, these teeth, are to connect the turning gear uh, motor. It is to um, move the rotor at very low speed uh, in order to avoid the bend of the rotor when the, tur when the rotor is, is hot. We can see in this picture that this turbine is a high pressure turbine, probably very high pressure turbine, probably uh, bigger than 130 or 140 bars. See, for example, that in this casing, this casing is a double casing. Uh, there is an inner casing and another outer casing. And all these orifices are to install the screws to close the two parts, the upper part and uh, lower part of the turbine. 
in this picture we can see the details of the uh, casing and uh, the details of the rotor. See, in this part here is installed the, mm, the sealing system, the labeling seal. It's not installed in this moment, but it's uh, to install the labeling seal. We can see here that are dismounted uh, to install uh, new ones. And in this picture, we can see the detail of the uh, blades. This is are the blades, and these are the uh, veins. The veins, remember, that are installed in the casing, and the blades are installed in the uh, rotor. Uh, it is possible to see here that this blade are uh, belong to a um, action turbine. It's because the shape uh, of the blades. This turbine is uh, different because this turbine is a low pressure turbine. Remember that we have seen this the same rotor a few moments ago and this is the uh, the, you, you can see the different parts, for example, here are not installed the, uh, the veins, the veins are removed, probably to do uh, some work on them. And this is the same turbine, but when the, the rotor is installed. Uh, here, this detail, this is the, the inlet uh, of the turbine. Is, uh, the, the, uh, the steam goes in over this orifice. This orifice is in all the casing. Here we can recognize very well the orifices for the uh, valance screws and uh, see that the, the size of the blade are increased when we go from the inlet to the outlet. The blades have different shapes, even in this part and even in the part that it is connected uh, with the rotor. Here we can see very, very well the difference between a action blade and reaction blade. See that action blade at this one, this is action blade, see the, the shape. Yeah? and the difference between this shape and this shape. This is a reaction uh, blade. And see that this uh, is an intermediate pressure turbine. The steam goes in around 30, 40 bar. And after, the, this is a condensing turbine. The outlet is over here. The outlet of the steam is over here in this part and we can recognize another element. For example, all these elements over here are the thrust beading. And these, here in this part, are located the labyrinth seal to avoid the leakage of the steam. The last row of uh, blades are the most delicate part of the of one steam turbine. See, for example, in this uh, uh, in this picture that the blades are damaged. We can recognize here a very, mm, a very common damage provoked by the inlet of uh, drops of water. This is action turbine. See the, the typical shape of the action uh, blades mm, is because the, the, the steam push the, um, the blades and the steam uh, impulse the, the, the turbine. And this is the atypical uh, reaction turbine. See that the, in this case, uh, the steam does not push, does not impulse the, uh, the turbine. Uh, what happens is that the, all the pressure is between two blades and after the outlet is what impulse the turbine. Here we have a, a casing, a casing for a, a high pressure turbine. 
And uh, remember the, that the, the casing, in this case, is a double casing. Uh, this is the outer casing, this is the inner casing. And in this picture, we can see better the different elements the different, that compose the, the bearing. Trust bearing and journal bearing. This is a journal bearing. And the anti-friction material, the babbit material, this material is in contact with the collar. See here, and this is the collar. And this is the, the journal bearing. And there, in this space, is here, is the journal bearing, and this is the trust bearing. In this picture, we can see uh, the two parts of a steam turbine, and uh, these two parts of the steam, uh, in this steam turbine. Uh, in this picture, we can see very well the difference between the, the journal bearing and the trust bearing. For example, this is the journal bearing, and the journal bearing, uh, remember that the journal bearing is covered by a coat. And this coat is made with a special material. This special material is called babit. It's because the, the, the person that invented uh, this special material is, uh, was Isaac Babit. Once this coat is loose, it's necessary to replace the, the bearing. In the next video, we will see auxiliary system of the turbine. We will see lubrication system, the hood spray, and especially the lavering seal and the sealing system of a, a steam turbine.